Knowing the Universe Galactic Rhapsody. What's this? Hey, like a big old egg. Cute. We will have to face a reality that nobody would have imagined. Not even the best sci-fi movie. But Holy the shit. That the system that we have detected. Well. The reality is way more diverse. Than the I still find it crazy how Welch, the only character from Honkai Impact, directly imported into Honkai Star Wars. He's the only canonical character who's actually from that universe. It's so cool. Anything we had in mind. We have this lava planet, this frozen planet, this uh, super this is a reality of the diversity of the planetary formation. Himiko? Guys, Himiko f died in Honkai Impact 3rd. You think that's the same Himiko from Honkai Impact 3rd? You dumb shit. She died. I mean, like, Welt actually traveled a universe to be in Honkai Star Rail. It's, it's, dude, the Himiko and Star Rail and the Himiko and Honkai Impact 3rd are not the same. They're different, bro. They're different. In the 90s, I thought that was well. Time, we demonstrated using a new technique that there are planets orbiting other stars. We found a planet orbiting a star what? called 51 Pegasi. Oh, what's that happening? That planet was about the mass of Jupiter. Okay. Similar to our own planet Jupiter. That's that freaky. Had a very short orbit. Was I don't like looking at this. Very close to the star and then extremely hot. This, this is freaking is me out. Called the hot Jupiter. And I was Back up! of a long series of discoveries and uh, what we call right now the exoplanet revolution. Oh, that's cool. I go look at that, that was freaky. My name is Didier Colo. I'm professor of physics cool. at Cambridge University and ETH okay. Zurich. My cool main activity is to study planet orbiting other stars, uh -huh. try to understand how they look like, yeah. and eventually trying to find out whether there may be some planet with life as well. I mean, there's got to be now. Science Haven't we already discovered that? Society, and we should take any opportunity to bring. Bro, the graphics of these cutscenes are crazy. Life of everybody. It actually looks real, bro. When you have people interested by video games, if there is a little bit of a chance that through these video games, through this exercise of the gaming, and then I can sneak in and with a couple of minutes of interaction uh, through the video games, I can maybe suggest some idea which is scientifically relevant, bring okay. a little bit more knowledge into the society. Something which is great when you deal with what's called planetary science is you can essentially expect everything. I don't know what he's saying, but he's got an accent, so he's probably smart. In the past 30 years, that the diversity of the planet are way more, uh, and way larger. Oh than my God. Experience on the solar system. Holy. There are so many planets and so many stars in the universe. It's very likely that there exists plenty of planets like they created for the game. Bro, talking about more planets makes me disassociate so hard, bro. Jairo oh my God! Six is the first planet you meet in Onkai Star Rail, covered by harsh hurricanes and snow. The planet has been covered by snow for hundreds of years. Snow almost killed the civilization there. Well, why not just use a blanket? On the planet, somehow managed to maintain only one city with a. Why not? Why not just heat it up? When you talk about planet that is frosted, and we know that in the past of the Earth we may have encountered this very special situation where yeah. the Earth was like a snowball. Snowball? When you're dealing with a frozen planet, there's a lot of possibilities. First, uh -huh. you have to realize that the gas, um, if you cool it down enough, like uh, carbon dioxide, will become icy and frost. I didn't know that. So it's easy to consider a planet that will be uh, seen as a gaseous planet. I mean, cooling down enough and looking very, very... My icy. ass after Taco Bell. It depends Bell. also of the amount of water you have on the planet and whether you have a big oceans and whether you want to create a kind of an ice crust uh, from this water. Or you don't have water at all, but you build up this kind of icy structure for all the tiny gas that um, is transforming a solid because it's very cold. 
So what matter here is uh, the temperature. You have to cool. Did Honkai Star Rail trick me into watching a documentary? Cool down the temperature. So you should not get too close to the star. If you're too close to the star, it doesn't work. But you also have to be careful about the structure of the atmosphere of the planet. I take an example like Venus. Venus is full of carbon dioxide and that warms the planet. It's a greenhouse effect. Well, if you remove this and you can bring gas that is cooling the planet as well, and that happened on Earth, and uh, the Earth had way more uh, carbon dioxide in the past because of the rise of life and a lot of production of oxygen. That was one of the big effects called the Great Oxygenation Event. What the f atmosphere of Earth has been transformed, and at that time, the temperature equilibrium was dramatically changed, and the Earth became what we call a snowball. Snowball? So it was exactly the kind of icy planet you will encounter in the game, and I was a result of a dramatic change of the nature That's of the so atmosphere cool. of that planet. So you see there's so much possibilities you can play with. It depends really on the chemistry of the planet, on the structure of the planet, and then of course, of the amount of energy which is radiating on the planet by the star. What? Okay, so like... So what has happened in the last 30 years? So like there was a... Earth was a snowball, and then that's not good. There was like a meteor or something, right? And then there was like a new Earth? Or there was like... Wait, so is Honkai Star Rail real then? Or like... Uh, all right, okay. Is and then... Oh, oh, cause, oh, that's how Canada was made. Okay. He had been exposed to a diversity of planetary system that no one would have imagined. Oh my God. When you have a rocky planet, depending where the planet is sitting yeah. on the, its orbit, you have a different scenario on the surface of the planet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bring it closer to the sun. You're going to end up with one face of the earth extremely hot. Oh my so God. Hot that you would melt the continent. So you end up with what we call a lava planet. Holy, now, a, a lava case, planet? You imagine you Dude, 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 wait, so that we're going to get a lava planet and then we're going to get like a f forest planet and then there's going to be like a f lightning planet and then there's going to be a f underwater planet, dude, and then we get to go to the ender and then we get to go to the f nether and then dude, fox girl planet, cat girl planet, dog girl planet, dude, blue girl planet where everybody's ass looks like Widowmaker. You take the earth and you make it much bigger, much bigger than the earth. Not one earth mass, maybe five, ten times the, the mass of the earth. Oh my and God. A lot of carbon as well. That's a we big have earth. Carbon on the planet. And then you have this uh, higher mass. Higher mass means pressure. The more mass you have, more pressure you have on the planet. When okay. You the carbon and the pressure, you create diamond. It's exactly how you create diamond on Earth. And that's what Asian uh, Asian families do to their kids when they're in school. See, they, they pressure them with unrealistic expectations until they break or they turn into diamonds. I get that. So this kind of a very massive uh, planet, you could imagine they should be full of diamond. <laughs> Astronomy is a wonderful topic for research because we are studying um, a specific element, which is the universe. And for us, astrophysicists, universe is our lab. And that's a wonderful lab because that's a lab that has so much possibilities, way more than any lab you can imagine on Earth. For example, you can see through the time, depending how far you look at, you look back in time, you can look at objects which are just impossible to reproduce, like a black hole. Which where, where are the chests, though? And what's the gameplay like in this real world? Do you, oh, wait, oh wait, you just sit there and you just work at a job you don't like, and then you do that for eight hours a day, and then you sit in traffic, and then you get home, parents yell at you, you ain't got a girlfriend, you ain't got no money. You go to roll on the banner, you don't get nothing. You think it'll be better the next day, but it's not. Every day you get a little bit closer to death, and then you realize maybe it's not so bad after all. All your friends change or left. You're 29, you're white, your grandparents were a product of incest. So now you got a dent in your head. Nobody likes you anymore. Everybody calls you a dick town. It's really just rough. Which is an infinite point where everything is attracted. We can look at objects that are extremely hot 
at the temperature, you will never know a thing about it. You can look at energy event, which is unique, like a supernova, again and again and again. So you are looking at the, what's called the extreme boundary of the physics, the coolest, the biggest. Wow, the more you know. <laughs> this dude is trying to be welt so hard, it's crazy. All this, all this for one cosplayer, man, it's insane. Almost anything you can get into the universe, and that's wonderful. Possibly one of the biggest questions of the humankind is, is there any life outside the solar system? Yeah, the cat girl's got to be out there. Fermi paradox was half a joke when Enrico Fermi said, well, if there is plenty of life, they, they the got to be out so there. Why don't we see it? And actually, the question is very profound in its, in its meaning. It implied that life has to develop and to be able to, um, to travel between stars and galaxies. This guy won the Nobel Prize? Wait, how many stellar J does that give you? We, we are not able to see it. So if there is no life traveling between galaxies, it means that maybe there is a possibility that when life developed the capability to do it, it just stopped. 10, it's just an achievement? Oh, okay, whatever. Just looking at the thermonuclear weapon we have on Earth right now, we have- We'll probably get that one eventually. ability to travel between stars, but are we going to survive? until we are reaching that stage. And that is what is behind, uh, really, the Fermi Paradox. Oh my God. Life may be common- I'm gonna be real, bro. This, this music, I'm starting to fall in love with this guy. But the development of life leading to a species that would be able to lift off from its planet may be extremely rare. And think about our stories. Without these big asteroids falling on Earth. Holy maybe shit, that's gotta this hurt. Planet will be still populated what by the f there's dinosaurs! And whether the dinosaurs Dinosaur planet! and go to the moon is not sure. Oh maybe it's very rare. Maybe we are the only life and oh, with the awareness da, da. of the knowledge of the universe in this galaxy. Oh, 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 oh. So it's also something to think about it and maybe to cherish our situation, our extreme situation, our responsibility on that matter. So I think this Fermi paradox is interesting in terms of philosophical sense because it asks the question of the meaning of our civilizations and the destiny of our civilizations. That's true. At the same time, you demonstrate how beautiful is our destiny to be able to ask the question already. So whether we will one day get the answer, I, I don't know. know. I tend to be- Hey, Jinx! Be oh. Hey, same brand. We're, we're both geniuses, guys. But we still have to face serious We're both geniuses. A global entity because we have only one place to live. It's I'm a prophet. Planet, nowhere else. And we should really, as a global population, better learn how to address it together. Bro, that does not exist. Tell me that's not real. Is that real? Wait, is that real? If that's real, I want to go there. Dude, th th is that the DLC? Is that the new way? Is that the new expansion pack? To use it wisely if one day nah, we that's don't fake. have any hope of all species that's to fake. travel to other stars. God, I love this game bro i don't know what that guy said but he was cute so he was probably right he got an accent too all right cool 